Hi everyone! So let's do our energy healing. Choosing a card. Call upon God, universe, angels, all of the highest beings of infinite love and light to help with this session and allow all this love and healing go to you, to your loved ones, soul family, ancestors. This is something better for the highest and the greatest good of all. Okay. <laughs> the cards are already like a lot of energy, a lot of energy. Okay, so the card says the wastelands. It says sustainability, slow down, and tend to your garden. <laughs> Interesting how all of this, all of the um, videos this week is all about connection and grounding, like intentional. So yes, the wastelands. And sustainability, slowing down, tend to your garden. So again, this was a theme, right? If you don't cultivate the energy within you, right? If you don't tend to yourself, your own, your own garden within yourself, your energy, you're going to get so depleted. And, and these days, with everything going on in the world, and there's just so much more stress and things, like people, right? Like... People are more stressed out these days than ever before. So then it's extra important to do your practices that you know of. Like you, I know you know them, right? Your grounding practice, your energy healing practices, whatever it is that helps you to feel good. Your movement practices, right? Yoga or dancing or just going for a walk, right? Whatever helps support you to tend to your own self your energy right that replenishes you creative things right eating lots of healthy yummy nourishing food right lots of fruits and veggies and herbs <sighs> just thinking about it my body already is like yes <laughs> yeah so all these things i know you know them because you are powerful you're a powerful light worker, a powerful sensitive soul. So, you know, you know what's good for you. It's just like a matter of actually doing it regularly and being very intentional with it, right? So, yeah, like I was saying, just with the way the world is these days, there's so much more stress and um, just like and high adrenaline, right? Like the world, the way that society, society is built is to deplete us, to deplete our adrenals. Like just think of all the things that we do, like being on social media, um, binge watching Netflix or whatever. Uh, what else do we do? And I'm not saying these things like it's bad or anything. It's just take a notice of like all of the things that we do. It's not, it doesn't fill us up. It takes from us. It depletes us, right? So when our body feels depleted, our, our adrenals are fatigued and depleted, and we don't feel good. And it's hard, it's hard to do the things that truly make us happy, the things that we want to do if we are exhausted and tired. And then we can even start to feel resentful, right? Resentful of the things that we actually even enjoy but we start to feel resentful like if you are a space holder and you you work with people with clients for example right then you can start to feel resentful and you don't want to feel that way towards your work right so yes sustainability slowing down watch all the other videos from this week it's all about that <laughs> and um yeah let's just do some healing so just take some nice cleansing breaths, allowing you to come back to yourself, calling all of your energy back to you, back to the here and now. <sighs> Cleanse and clear all of your energy, your aura, your energy field, just allowing the universe, God, source, who <sighs> is flushing out your aura, your energy fields, whatever is not serving you, it's just like washing it away. Oh, feels good already. Just washing it all away. Other people's energies, other people's fear and stress. Like I said, when we go out into the world or even we go onto our phone and we're looking at things online, reading people's comments on Instagram, <laughs> like you're feeling all that energy and it's like a bunch of angry people. <sighs> Cleanse it all off, right? Woo. So when you clear your energy regularly, 
you could do this as an experiment too like clear your energy get yourself super grounded and like clear in your own energy and then like go somewhere where there's either a lot of people or like go online on social media and you're gonna feel the difference way more intently and then there's gonna make you want to clear your energy more often <laughs> so yeah try that out if you need if you need a uh, inspiration as to why it's important to clear your energy but yeah so let's just get energy clear <sighs> allow all the yummy energy of source infinite love and light to just flush out anything that's not serving you so from head to toe all of your organs and cells it's like whatever is not of the highest good <sighs> so I need to go with ease and grace <sighs> if you're picking up on collective fears and stress allowing that to go if you're co connecting to the uh, people's like projections around yeah whatever's going on in the world the economy for example just allowing that all to go anger and the fear and your own anger and fear is allowing it giving it to God, giving it to earth, giving it to the source, allowing you to be here in your body, in your heart, <sighs> allowing your adrenals to relax, your nervous system to relax. <sighs> All the stress of the world, still there right the stress of other other people's stress it's there in the atmosphere but when you are grounded when you're connected to yourself then you're not gonna take it on right you're not gonna absorb it or take it on as yours it's not gonna attach to you and just stay there and then you start feeling it thinking that it's you but it's not <laughs> Again, nice and grounded, feeling the connection to the earth. And let's send love to, send love to the earth for all of her support. She's holding so much space for us. Right? There's so much going on on the planet. And she's still there for us, holding space for us, loving us. So just sending her so much love and just acknowledging that like she is she's doing so much for us <sighs> the trees all around all the trees in the forest on the whole planet the ocean all the bodies of water they're supporting us <sighs> physically spiritually energetically <sighs> they're doing so much for us I can feel everyone's body relaxing it's like all of that. It's like the the um, collective energy, right? All, everyone's fears. It's like these little vortexes of energy, and they're just like, and they're just like spinning around the place. Especially like if you go somewhere where there's lots of people, and everyone's like, it's like if they're if people are not like clearing their energy, or they're not aware of what they're holding on to and carrying, because again, that that might not even be their stuff, right? They might have watched the news or. Or like, I don't know, talk to someone and they took on all of that, right? So it's like zh, 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 everywhere. So feel your body grounded <sighs> so that you don't get caught up in all of those little vortexes and you're not taking it on. <sighs> and being really grounded too. So taking a time every day to ground and you will be able to sense when those little vortexes or those little clouds of, <laughs> of people's energy start to come in your energy. Like you're going to feel it and be like, oh, that's not mine. And then you, by just having the awareness, you're like not attaching to it and you're not letting it attach to you. But like to be able to do it like as quickly as like, as soon as you notice it, right? Then that's why it's learning to be so clear in your energy. And you do that by being like, right super grounded so you can feel your own energy your own essence and then you don't get caught up in the chaos <laughs> and in other people's emotions and stress that too it helps if you are 
yeah, energy healer or space holder, counselor, then you're not taking on their energy. You're not getting caught up with their stuff. You're not getting depleted, right? So clearing your energy really well before and after you work with people or interact with people. That's going to help so much. And the message, is, message coming through is like really doubling down or even tripling or even 10 times going deeper in your practices so what we talked about earlier right whatever practices help support you to nourish yourself to feel so good physically emotionally energetically spiritually whatever you need and you know what you need to nourish yourself and if you don't know let's just take a moment <laughs> we're gonna feel it so you do know Place your hand on your heart and whatever your body, your heart, your soul wants you to know that's going to support you and being super nourished and just filled with so much love and energy, overflowing of love. <sighs> whatever you need to know, allowing your body to give you the answers and the wisdom, and the messages, becoming more aware, connected to your body so you can hear the wisdom coming through. Feels good. I just feel like everyone just dropped in deeper into their body. So again, it's like, the chaos of the world can be here, <laughs> but you be here, <laughs> you be here in your body, in your heart. And yeah, whatever you need to do, double down, triple down, 10 times, whatever you're currently doing. And it really depends, right? So if you're going through a lot of things in your life, if you're having your own like personal stress or whatever is going in your life, and you're going to want to take extra care, right? Be so gentle and loving and nourishing to your heart. And also if you need to receive support from others so that you can receive, right? Have someone hold space for you. You got to do that too, right? So whatever whatever you need, again, just check in with your heart, right? So that's whatever you're going through personally. And then also like if you're holding space for a lot of people, maybe there's a lot of people in your life going through things or your clients, and again, it's like asking yourself and being really honest, like, what do I need to cultivate so much love and nourishment, take care of myself so that I can operate at the best that I can, right, from a place of abundant overflow and not from depletion. Because when we are depleted, it's like being in a canoe, like a boat, and like the boat is sinking, and you're just like, you have a little bucket, and you're trying to scoop it out, but you're sinking and sinking, right? That's what it feels like to me when you're depleted, and I've been there, I've been there many times, and I've been taking the time the past two years to really strengthen my energy, strengthen my health. I've been doing this every day for the past two years has made such a big difference strengthening my foundation my grounding practice my connection and love to myself being so gentle and kind and compassionate to myself to my body right the physical thing right the nourishment the fruits the vegetables all of the good stuff right giving myself whatever i need um and refilling my energy, doing things that I love to do, right? So like dancing, singing, um, I like to do yoga, like whatever feels good for me, I'm doing them every day, right? So that I can show up feeling so good, I can support people, right? Support my clients and whatever needs to be done and I can do it in a way that feels good <laughs> right so that's why I'm sharing all of this let's check in see how you're feeling now just like these are like simple things we can do right the grounding the work the clearing the energy all of that good stuff and yeah you can share below what you're gonna do moving forward to help to support yourself to feel really good and nourished and I'm so happy 
this week was great. So go back to watching the other videos if you want more support with the grounding and the clearing of the energies and all of that. If you want to work with me, all my info is below. And I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. Or you can check out my healing shop. There's lots of powerful energy clearing and energy healing videos that or downloads that you can check out. And that's going to be really good and supportive for you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.